Okay, uh, so in the last cute video, uh, we made an application where we could enter some coordinates and plot some points. I have that pulled up right here. Uh, we'll just take a look at it real quick to see what it does. So I'll click run, unless I can enter the point one, and enter the point one, and add, and it adds a point right here, and I can add another one, two, two, add, and it adds the point there and then I can click clear and it clears it. So that's our application. It's really simple. Um, we set up our graph. We have a function to add a point which just uh, appends a point to these two member variables we have which is a q vector of x and q vector of y variables. Uh, then we can clear our data and then we have this plot function which adds the data to the plot uh, and updates it. And then you have the button, uh, the button clicks there. So what I want to do today is someone suggested I do a video showing how to add a point to the plot by clicking on it. Uh, and so that is what we're going to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our header file in main window dot h. We're going to add a private slot, uh, void, we'll call it quick graph. And it's going to take a Q mouse event event and uh, let's refactor this we want to add definition main window dot cpp okay so here we are we're on click graph we have our mouse event and so what we want to do is we want to get a Q point and we'll call it point, and that will equal event position. Okay. And now, once we have that point, what we want to do, oh, got to put a semicolon there, is we're going to want to plot that point. Now, the point we get from the event position, which is just going to be what the location of the mouse pointer, is we're going to get pixels. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get where that pixel location is, the XY pixel location, we need to know where those are uh, on our graph. And Q custom plot has a way to do this. Um, and we'll do a Q to bug so we can see how it works. And we're going to call UI plot X axis uh, and it has pixel to coordinate. And what we're going to put in is we're going to put in uh, point dot x, and that should give us a coordinate back. And then we're going to do the same thing here with the y axis. We're going to do ui dot plot dot y axis dot pixel to chord and point dot y. Okay. And now uh, what we need to do is we need to come up and we're going to need to connect uh, this function to the actual event. So let's come up here. And what we want to do is we're going to do connect. We want to collect, connect UI plot. Uh, the signal is going to be mouse press and mouse event and the slot will be our function we just added click the graph okay so there we have that so now when we click on our graph what should happen is we should see a, a debug statement uh, that comes up and shows the coordinates so we'll run we'll save all those here it is, mouse pointer, we're going to click here, right at 1, 1, you can see the coordinates that come up are uh, right about at 1, 1, which is what we're expecting. We'll come back here and clear that off. Okay, and if I click right around 2, 2, you can see those coordinates are real close to 2, 2. Okay, and if I click outside the box, nothing happens. If I get a negative point, if I click just inside there, 
Um, so you can see that this is working every time. Now what I need to do is I'm not adding these points uh, to the graph yet. So that's actually a pretty simple thing to do. I'm going to get rid of our debug statement here. We've proved that that works. And so what I can do here is I'm going to say, oh, actually I want to undo that. Let's keep that there. Uh, add point. And what I can do is just copy and paste these in here. So add the point from the UI plot. We need that parenthesis. And then we'll add the Y coordinate. Put that in there. Now we'll get rid of this. And now we need to uh, also replot everything. So we'll call the plot function to update the vectors uh, and replot. So now we can build. I'm just going to control B there. And then we can run. And now when I click at 1, 1, I should see a point appear there. And there it is. Clicking, points appearing. I keep doing this. I click clear, they go away. And I click clear and they go away. Now the problem is I can click down here and it will add those points because we showed that it showed me negative values, but it's you know it's not showing up there. And you can put an if statement in to, to check that if you would like to. Um, but there you go. That's actually a, a pretty uh, simple thing to do to add a little bit of interaction uh, to your to your Q custom plots. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry that I'm really slow coming out with these videos. I I do have a lot of other things going on, and this is more of a hobby than anything. And so I I try to keep up on your comments and and take your suggestions and do videos on them. Uh, so thanks for all of you all of you that uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hope to have some more videos for you here in the future.